All right, hey YouTube. I want to do a review of this K-Bar 14-inch grass machete here. Um, I bought this thing about two months ago, I guess. And uh, I got it at a decent price. It was a lot more expensive than most of your machetes are, but it was still not expensive for what it is. It's a 1085 high carbon steel. It's a 14-inch blade and 3 8 thick. Or three sixteenths thick, not three eighths. Uh, it's a nice, solid knife. <laughs> it really is. But I've had some issues with it, as you can probably see. Um, I love this machete. I really do. I used it camping quite a few times, and it held up amazingly well. And I was really, really impressed with this thing for a long time. It takes an edge really well. It holds an edge amazingly well. I mean, I mean, surprisingly well and it uh it cuts very well but k-bar has some quality control issues that need to be addressed here and i think i'll go ahead and do that now now if you notice the handle for starters i've heard there are some problems with the handle coming loose but i've had no problems with it i used this thing like a baseball bat and uh no problems whatsoever with the handle coming loose but the grinds on this knife are terrible it looks like they had a trained monkey working in their shop making these grinds if you look closely here on this side number one you can see I'll go ahead and tell you how this thing got messed up I was out in the woods I'd taken it out for the fourth trip that I brought it out for and like I said I've already thoroughly tested this thing and trusted it but I brought it out and I found an old stump that was half rotten and I went to knock a few chunks off of the stump to bring back as firewood. Well, I hit the stump probably 20 times. And I never wailed on the stump. I never reared back and hit it with everything I had or anything like that. And whenever I got through chopping on the stump, I noticed this big chip here and this small chip had popped up out of nowhere. And I was really, really disappointed because this thing shouldn't break on a half rotten piece of wood whenever I've, I've chopped full size trees down that were live with it. And then, so from there, I threw it back in the sheath and I left it. And uh, I was gonna throw it away or send it back to K-Bar. Well, I sent K-Bar an email and they haven't responded in over a month now. And I'm pretty disappointed in that too because I've heard good things about their customer service but I haven't seen any customer service from them on my end. I'm sure they're probably decent, but it's uh, not the case with me. So I needed a machete yesterday, and I figured, well, this thing's broken. I'm not going to hurt it anymore. And also, when I was working with it, before I put these chips into it, um, I had used it one night and woke up the next morning. And I just used it on small stuff. I'm talking inch and a half, two inches. Small saplings that I was cutting up for a fire. Nothing fancy, nothing big. I mean, really, it was it was very light work for this kind of knife. And I bent the blade right here where these chips are. There was a bend. When I woke up the next morning and picked it up, there was a serpentine, kind of an S-curve, that went for, you know, well over an inch here on the blade, right in almost dead center of this blade. And I knew it was getting weak. And... And I started looking, I realized the grinds were bad. Now you look, there is a double hollow grind. I think they call it a duplex grind on the website. But what this is, this is a small hollow grind that's very thick here at the top. And then this bottom grind is your standard hollow grind that you would see on most knife edges that comes down very thin. And it gets very thin about halfway down this grind and stays thin all the way down to the bottom. And that really helps with the cutting power of this blade, but the fact that they put these grinds on with such terrible lack of precision is uh, kind of sad. So, first of all, if you look here at your grinds, you'll see your bottom grind covers about a third, um, covers about two thirds of this grind space, and then this top grind is about one third. So you got a two thirds, one third thing going on here, and you get down farther toward this end, and you'll see the grinds are 50-50 here, and then right here, the top grind is bigger than the bottom grind. And over here, the top grind is much bigger than the bottom grind. So whoever did this 
was not paying close attention. This was not done by a machine, I don't think, and if it was done by a machine, you need a new machine, K-Bar, because this is bullshit. <laughs> Honestly, this is why my knife broke. And if you look at my the other side here, the grinds are completely different on the back side. This bottom hollow grind is very deep and very big all the way down, and this top grind is very thin and shallow, and yet they're still crooked. Here, you're looking at about a 75% to 25%, you know, three quarters to a quarter. Actually, less than that on the top grind, less than a quarter here. And then once you get down here, you're looking more like two-thirds, one-thirds, and it changes, you know, from inch to inch. From here is one thing, and then you get down here, and this top grind is smaller. And it's, just, it's, it's terrible quality, guys. And this is this is good steel. Really, really good steel. I know from the feel of it, from using it, from working with it, from the thickness of it, it's just, it's a really quality machete. And these grinds ruined it. Whoever did this needs to be fired. Whoever did this ruined a $60 knife. And after I put this chip in and sent the email to K-Bar and, uh, I didn't hear anything back in a timely fashion. Uh, I needed a machete yesterday, and I grabbed it, and I used this thing uh, on another stump, and I figured I was going to break it, but the spot where the bends had occurred and the blade went ahead and chipped out, and they also, there, there's a, another bend that got pretty exaggerated right here. So, it's, uh, it's in rough shape right now, but... Since I haven't heard anything from K-Bar, since I love the steel this thing is made out of, and since I don't think I'm going to be able to get it replaced, I'm going to go ahead and take a sharpening stone, and I'm going to grind it like so, along that sharpening stone, until I grind these chips out. I don't want to use a grinder on it, because I'll mess up the heat treat, and, and K-Bar did a really good job with the heat treatment, I think, on this blade, but they did an absolutely terrible job with the grinds and I'm gonna grind take about half of this grind off I'm probably gonna come up a little higher than this deepest chip a little bit higher just so I can get in, in into the thicker part of the blade and then from the thicker part of the blade I'll resharpen it and uh, it'll be it's gonna lose a couple of ounces of weight but it's still gonna be a solid machete I'm still gonna be able to use it I think and I'll get back with you whenever I get it done and let you know how it turns out but for now um the 14 inch k-bar grass machete for the price i'd say it's good but considering that i haven't heard back from k-bar and also considering that uh that it broke on me under heavy actually under medium use but i have to admit it was after a lot of heavy use that it did break but i never saw a single bend in it you know under the under the light well I, I saw the one bend in it I never saw a single chip of any kind not even the smallest tiniest chip of any kind until these big chips started popping out here and uh, I don't I don't like that <laughs> I don't know what they did exactly to cause that to happen but I'm pretty sure it was the grinds I mean I'm not a scientist I haven't brought this thing into a lab and tested it but I'm willing to bet money that it was it was these poor quality grinds that caused this knife to chip out and break like this and uh, I'm gonna try to fix the problem so I'll make another video after I grind it down and make a few camping trips test it out and I'll let you know how the new ones working out have a good one guys